Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you here this evening for our independent marketing survey on crackers. I'm Fred Williams, and I have the results of uh, some of our audience members' comments on exactly how they derive the maximum enjoyment from crackers. And I thought I'd share these with you before we start off this evening. I won't be mentioning their names. However, I will be giving the first initial of the first and last name. OK, here we have right off the top, uh, JP and GP ate an entire box and didn't get sick. How about that? That's where are you? Oh, oops, forget that, forget that. Um, JM had to whistle with a mouthful, but won a bicycle, a huffy bike. Is that true? Again, I'm sorry. Thank you. Didn't want to identify you. Mr. DR from Shaker Heights likes to walk on them in trash bags. I see. Very interesting. <laughs> and Miss SC chewed them up in her mouth as a child till they were all doughy and then just swished them around. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh, nice, nice. Oh, uh, this came for you. Mm -hmm. That's what you wanted. OK, let me see. We have Miss BM here, puts them in her purse. This is nice. Reminds me of mom. And saves them for making a pie crust. I've seen you do that. Yes, I have. OK, Miss KL from Rocky River says she's not good. Oh, no, the crackers are not good in bed. <laughs> well, <clears throat> speaking man to man, the most important element in deriving the maximum enjoyment from crackers is the choice of a companion to help you enjoy them. She must be a beautiful woman, elegant, and accustomed to sophistication. A woman whose company is a challenge to enlist. A woman that's hard to get. <laughs> In approaching the companion to help you enjoy crackers, it is best not to tell her of your intentions. Let it be a surprise to her. Say that simply you're going to do something that's currently different. If she accepts your invitation, proceed in making the following arrangements. Reserve two rooms in two different hotels on the same night. First, a single room in a skid row flop house. <laughs> the other, a suite of rooms in one of the finest hotels in town. If you do not own an expensive car, make sure you have one at your disposal for the evening. On the day of the occasion, a few hours before you are to pick her up, go to the store and buy several heads of lettuce, romaine, endive, spinach, etc., and a few pounds of fresh tomatoes, cucumbers, celeries, green onions, and so forth. In other words, whatever ingredients you would choose to make an attractive salad. Also, you must buy five gallons each of the following five dressings, Roquefort, Russian, French, Thousand Island, and vinegar and oil. Take these ingredients to the room at the Skid Row Hotel. Pull back the covers on the bed and prepare a four or five inch layer of salad that covers the entire surface of the bed. Tossing well with your hands, make sure there's no lettuce left on the floor. Pull back the covers and remake the bed, placing the 25 gallons of dressing in the closet. Proceed to dress for the evening. Dress as though you were a waiter or a wine captain in a very expensive restaurant, but leave some doubt as to whether or not this is what your attire really suggests. Well, the doubt, of course, is a personal matter. When all the necessary arrangements have been made and you are dressed, proceed to pick up your date. When you pick up your date, keep her wondering. Answer her questions with only, you'll see. Drive casually to the flop house, making no stops along the way. Take her quickly to the rooms you have rented. Once inside the room, ask her this question. By the way, what salad dressing do you prefer? When she's told you, Go into the closet and drape a small hand towel over your forearm, a la fancy waiter. Return to the room and pull back the covers on the bed to display the crisp green salad. One of the high points of the evening is now at hand. You must coax her to lie down on the bed. She may possibly reject such a notion at first and may even attempt to leave. Reason with her adroitly. 
One of the finest points of argument to convince her that it is perfectly all right is those salads are good for you. If she is still hesitant, go so far as to chide her for not being adventuresome. Whatever you do, get her in that bed. Get tough if you have to, but get her in the bed. After she is in the bed, go to the closet and take out the five gallons of her choice of dressing and with great flair pour it over her entire body. She will probably make some remarks like, what is the meaning of this ridiculous tableau? Are you mad, you crazy son of a bitch? Enjoy them. After emptying the five gallons of dressing on her, snap your fingers and say, crackers! Begging her forgiveness, explain that you have forgotten the crackers. Tell her that you will have to run to the store and for her not to move a muscle. Race out of the flop house and drive swiftly to a neighborhood store. Go in and buy a small box of saltines. Do not buy fancy crackers. When you have purchased them, drive to the fine hotel in which you have rented the suite of rooms. Go directly up to your suite. From the moment you enter, begin taking off all of your clothes. Put the crackers on the bed beside you and get into bed. Settle down and begin to nimble on the crackers one by one. You will derive a maximum enjoyment from them.